I wanted to make a quick video comparing AdWords Editor's Keyword Grouper to the Keyword Grouper that I've created, which is Keyword Grouper 1.5. In this video, I want to randomly show you a product, so let's go to Amazon. Let's just pick any product randomly so we can use it to find keywords. Let's go into Arts and Crafts and Sewing, for example. And let's scroll down. Um, let's just do sewing machines. So this looks like some kind of sewing machine. We will pick sewing machines. Let's just get some keywords here. We just need a few keywords so we can demonstrate the keyword grouping abilities of both programs. So we have 802. Let's download this. We have our keywords here. Let's copy these we will paste them into Keyword Grouper. Now Keyword Grouper actually has the ability to remove non-letter and non-number characters. So we can see there's a registered trademark somewhere in this keyword list. There's a dash, there's a period. We can replace these all with a space. So, and that's just exactly what we did here. So if we hit this circle again, nothing shows up because everything was replaced. So we essentially clean the keyword list. We hit Next. The settings are set. Um, just have them Alright there, let's just generate common themes. This is going to generate potential keyword groups. And we're done. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Go into AdWords Editor. Let's paste this keyword list. Key proposed changes. It's called insurance. Let's just call it sewing machines. And we're done. So we can see the way Keyword Grouper grouped the keywords. The ad groups make logical sense. You know exactly what keywords are in what groups. And that's exactly what we're going to look at now and see if AdWords Editor can do the same quality work. So let's create a new CPC campaign. We'll just keep it campaign number two. With campaign number two selected, we'll create an ad group. And now let's take those same keywords, we will put them into this group process. And what we're going to do is use AdWords Editor's Keyword Grouper tool to group these keywords. So I have the same words to ignore from Keyword Grouper. Right here we have the settings, words to ignore. So let's just generate common terms. And we see we have machines, singer, home, serger, and so on. Hit next. We can preview the results. And we finish. And let's take a look and see how well AdWords Editor's Keyword Grouper tool did versus Keyword Grouper. So we have baby. We have two keywords in some groups, whereas other groups have, like this one, 50. So we have by sewing, a group just sounds really obscure. We have Elna, that must be a brand or something. Home. So we have leather sewing. We have just machine and machines. We have sale. And I don't know if it's just my biased opinion, but these keyword groupings like what sewing machine, white sewing machine, Singer has, a, has 95 keywords in it. I don't know, I just don't think that this does as good of a job as the keyword grouper groups, which look concise, clear, and highly relevant to the keywords within each group. So, it's up to your opinion, but that is a demo comparing AdWords Editor's Keyword Grouper tool to Keyword Grouper 1.5. Thanks for watching.